Overnight, a stunning reversal. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin revoking the controversial plea deal for the alleged mastermind of the 9-11 terror attacks and two of his accomplices, putting the death penalty back on the table. And a surprise memo to retired Brigadier General Susan Escalier, who approved the deal, Austin saying he was taking over responsibility for the cases, writing, In light of the significance of the decision, responsibility for such a decision should rest with me. The move comes just two days after the Pentagon announced it had reached a plea deal with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and his accomplices Walid bin Atash and Mustafa al Hasawi. That deal would have seen them plead guilty to the murder of nearly 3,000 direct victims in exchange for life in prison, avoiding the death penalty. The decision sparking outrage from many. When on Wednesday, when I learned about the deal, it was a gut punch it came, because that came out of nowhere. We weren't expecting it. And we just learned about it on the news. Nobody had notified us properly. Terry Strada's husband was killed on 9-11. He was on the 104th floor of the North Tower that morning. She is now national chair of 9-11 Families United, relieved when she heard about the reversal late Friday. I was completely shocked. Uh, it came as a huge surprise. And I'm very grateful, I'm happy about this decision because justice needs to be served and now I believe it will.